Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are going to be playing with quite a few brand new items um, just because I'm moving right now and I had packed so much stuff up and only had new items around and some other random stuff and I thought why not sit down and yes, go over a WTF very expensive item right here, the Cure Sheer Eye from Natura Bisse and then also try some other things and I am going to be literally packing, moving, shopping, doing all this crazy stuff today. So I thought it would be a fun day to kind of vlog and take you along and see how all of this new makeup wears. I am so tired right now. I cannot even think straight. I literally was like packing boxes until past midnight and there is still so much to do. You know when you're tired just because like you know there's more to do. That's the kind of tired I am. My mind is just like wah, 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 let this be over. Uh, so bear with me. Um, my under eye area does need some help. So I have been saving this one for a moment in time when I was really tired. I think that was the plan. I bought this like a month ago and I've kind of been just waiting to try it out with you guys. This is a tinted eye cream essentially that can kind of work as a concealer. We're gonna see how much coverage there really is in this product. When I tried it on the back of my hand at Neiman's, it seemed like there was a lot of coverage. It has adjusting properties in it and particles to kind of work with your skin tone. It also has peptides, hyaluronic acid, a ton of things to reduce the fluid retention underneath your eyes, help dark circles. It's basically supposed to be like a wonder eye product that really gets rid of every bad eye situation that might be going on and right now with me and no sleep I kind of feel like wow we're really purple and puffy and all sorts of crazy stuff going on so um, we're gonna try this guy out first and then I'm really excited because we're gonna try out the NARS new foundation the velvet matte skin tint I have been dying to put this to the test okay so this one is hundred and twenty dollars for half an ounce Hmm. The cool thing about eye items, I have to say, is they will last you forever. It's not like a face cream where you're spending over $100 for an ounce of face cream and you go through that. Like any of my more expensive eye creams, I just have forever and ever and ever because a little bit goes a long way. So definitely don't overuse your product once you find one that works if it's really pricey and up there. Make it last. I mean, see, that looks like a concealer, doesn't it? It literally looks like a concealer. Okay, I'm just gonna place this underneath the eye. We'll do one eye first and kind of compare and see what it does. Online, it says to pat it underneath the eye and that you can take it on the lid as well. I mean, it did something. It's not totally concealing the under eye area, but it definitely made an improvement. Um, it's tough to say like a first impression with an eye cream because you need some time for it to settle in and tighten up that under eye area and try it a few times to see if it really did depuff and help wrinkles and all of that stuff. But as far as like a tint, that's kind of cool. Wow, yeah, I feel like if I just like left the house like this, this is a very much improved situation going on. It's not a concealer, so clearly I do still have some, you know, discoloration underneath my eyes, but it helped me out for sure. Okay, moving on to foundation. This is a very whipped foundation from NARS. I am taking the shade Alaska, which is light too. I'm gonna take a flat top brush, grab product off the back of my hand, and just use, well, I was gonna use circular motions, but it's really kinda, this is interesting. I'm gonna go with pretty light makeup today just because I'm packing boxes and moving and I just, ugh. I'm just having one of those days where I'm like, I don't, I don't need everything. You know? You know what it reminds me of? It's kind of like a higher quality version of the new one that Maybelline just launched. It has that same kind of, see how it's not runny? It's like a whipped kind of a texture. I'd probably do better with a beauty blender, but I don't have one in front of me. So we're just making this work. 
my immediate reaction is mm, it's kind of grabbing on to dry spots like right in here I feel like it's grabbing pretty hardcore I don't know that I like this yeah this is clinging on to dry patches pre ooh, pretty intensely love NARS foundations I just put you know their long wearing luminous foundation in my foundation obsessions video this just might be wrong for my skin type. I just feel like it's looking kind of patchy. While I have this in my hand, I'm just going to set with a little bit of this setting powder from Clay to Poe. Update for you guys, because this was part of a WTF. I do still love this powder. I take it with me on the go for touch-ups. And then on days when I want to be just quick and not deal with a loose powder, it's great. So I loaded up my lashes with mascara. I only used a little bit of liner. I'm literally not wearing anything else on my eyes. I'm trying to keep things super, super simple today. And I'm surprised that that little Natura Bisse uh, sheer, it's not a concealer. I keep wanting to call it a concealer. It's an eye cream. I'm surprised that, not that I have like the greatest concealing action going on underneath my eye area, but it's not bad. Um, all right, so as a final step, we are going to try out Ciate's new liquid velvet. I actually got sent all of the colors in the mail, and I think once I'm moved in, I'll do like a swatch session on Snapchat or post a picture on Instagram of every single shade. I got this right after I had just done my liquid lipstick like showdown video, so I wanted to try this out and see if it's good, bad, whatever, and uh, let's just go for it. This is the shade... Wonderland. It's just a really pretty pink. So immediate thoughts, it feels extremely velvety and kind of air whipped. It's not wet when you apply it. Um, so it feels really comfortable. I think this shade might be a little bit like, oh, oh my god, you need something else going on there. So that is everything so far. I don't really like the foundation. It feels a little, a little drying. But I will check in with you guys. I'm going to be out and about a ton. So we will definitely do close-ups. We will be in different lighting. And we will see how this wears throughout the day. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I just had to hop on here really quick and share with you guys that not having actual concealer on has made my mascara smudge. And I'm using the Fiona Styles mascara right now and this one never smudges on me. So that's a little bit, um, see, it's a little bit weird, right? I don't like that. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of concealer and powder so that I don't have like crazy smudges underneath my eye all day and I did put concealer on because it was like a smudgy mess. The foundation is so-so. Eh, I'm not like totally in love with it. It's kind of dry and patchy, but at least I'm not getting oily. I haven't had to touch up at all. And then the lips, I ate lunch. There's not a lot left. I need to like retouch up. So it's not one of those liquid lipsticks that completely intensely stays put. So that is the update for now. We are furniture shopping and I will check in with you guys in just a little bit. Anything to add, James? Um, let me see you. Okay, what you said. Ah! My impression... Go! <laughs> what are you doing? My impression is this makeup sucks. Pretty much, look at that. Oh my god. That never, ever, ever happens to me. Okay, um... First off, I haven't been touching my eyes, I haven't been sleeping, I haven't been doing anything. This is the same makeup I wear all the time as far as my eyeliner and mascara, and it never does this. I did set my eyes with powder first before even putting on liner. So there was some powder kind of taking away the oiliness from the Natura Vise eye cream, but it's just, man, I mean, underneath my eye, on top of my eye, it is just a smudgy smudgy mess that's the weirdest thing so i really i don't care for this product i don't think i would use a product like this at night that has pigment in it i just wouldn't and then knowing that it does this to my face makeup during the day i don't think i would use it during the day either so the foundation is not bad it's not great it's not like competing with all of my foundation obsessions 
I think it would be better for oily skin because it is a little bit dry on me and then the lipstick situation just went away entirely. So there you have it. That is your update for now and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey, hold on a Final second. words from James. Yes. Let me see. <laughs> you know what? Hmm? You're the prettiest girl I've ever known. <laughs> but you're a mess today. Worst impression. Worst impression. All right, back to packing and moving, etc. We are gonna do the quickest final check-in of life because this is the crappiest makeup day I think I have ever had. I'm not even gonna say like in the past year. I'm just gonna say ever. What on earth happened? This is supposed to be a demi matte foundation and it stayed really matte for the most part, but then it started like patching off and getting shiny and it just progressively got worse and worse and worse. The lip stuff completely gone long time ago. I will revisit my journey with Ciate's liquid lipsticks another day because I do want to try more colors and it went on initially really nicely. I just ate a big meal, made a mess, and that was gone really quick. Let's talk about the eyes for a second. What is this? What is this? This mascara and liner I use all of the time never happens. I don't know what is in this Natura Bisset The Cure Sheer Eye that made me look like I've been punched in the face. Um, but this, I'm done. I'm moving, I'm moody, I just feel tired. And then I look in the mirror and I kind of scare myself because I look like I've been attacked. How? I'm not sure. I haven't been rubbing my eyes. I haven't really been doing much. You know, I've been moving and stuff, but it's not like I've been like running a marathon or anything. Anyway, this whole makeup day was just a big, huge mess. I can't believe that I'm putting myself online looking like this. <sighs> Whatever. This was a total fail WTF. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy me trying out more than one item A and B. Still showing up on camera looking like this. Oh yeah. I don't know what, I, I need to go. I've lost my mind. All right, thanks guys. I will see you next time. Mwah.